Hey guys, Devil Hunter here. So maybe some of you know that I have been developing this magazine. This is a CO2 magazine for the M14. Uh, it's been so so long time that I can't even remember when I started them. But finally, I I get a working one, and today I wanna show you. Uh, this is my M14 with the mod stock adapter I, I have made. Um, first of all, I want to show you how how the mod works, and and then I will show you the parts and and everything else. So, like my other magazines, it works with CO2 direct from paintball bottles. So if you want to know more about this, uh, people have named this mod with my nickname. Uh, you can search for Devil Hunter mod and you will you will find some info on how to make this mod into GHK magazines and I have done it even to um, to pistol magazines. So first open the open the on-off valve and fill the mag like any other gas mag. Uh, right now the performance of this mag is, is not going to be the best one because uh, as you can see here my lips are broken so when the, the gas comes out the high pressure of the gas will bend the gas root so I hope uh, that there will be bending so also the, the mag in the M14 is very wobbly anyways works. So now I'm gonna show you how the Mac is made. So this is the, the first prototype I made. This works like like pistol magazine. The, this is a standard CO2 valve from GHK. In the pistol valves the, the gas comes from the front and pushes the valve to close and goes out in the middle so there is a strong force to close the magazine the, to close the valve of course and this way is how I made this prototype but to open the valve we need about 6 kilograms of, of force from the, the hammer so it just doesn't open so I made the second one which is this uh, and this one works like the GHK. In the GHK, the the gas comes in the middle and try to escape from both sides. So since the area here is a bit uh, it is a bit smaller in the in the front than in the back, so uh, the force is smaller in the front. Um, pushes to the back with a uh, one kilogram approximately, so it's pretty easy to to open. And that's all. Uh, the mag is uh, this is the original one, and the mag, as you can see, it's, it's made to be pretty similar. Uh, the only modification to the um, to the mag cell is this little hole to. To fill the the magazine from from this this fill valve, uh, this big hole is, is from another mod mod for it, and the tubes are from from uh, one of my GHK M4 magazines. Uh, since this is a prototype, I I didn't want to make them. They will take so many time. Well, this is the the output valve of the magazine. It what took me more time to to get working because this seal is in CO2 mag is it's pretty hard to make it seal. So just need a couple of four ring, the front one and it has another one in the on the inside. On the outside in the thread it just have some Teflon tape that just works. It's not the the best one right now but works. Well, these are some some prototype valves that that I made before, uh, trying to to get a working valve. 
have traced some some different plastics to make the seals. This this is Evo plastic, polyethylene, and this is PVC, a special kind of PVC. Uh, these are screws that mm, you can see here. They have done the um, the seals, but to make this sealing is pretty hard because you know uh, you you need a lot of precision that I I don't have with hand tools. So so it took me a while to to get the the right the right way to to make this one. My idea to the magazine is to make this as dropping kit for the gas magazine. You just need the cells, the plastic guide, the gas root and the lips. I could try to get from a replacement part from WE but you know that they don't they don't sell replacement parts so it's gonna be hard. Uh, anyway I can continue with my prototyping because my machine is it's a, it's a toy machine, it's not a real machine, the precision is pretty bad, so I need a, a new one, a bigger one, uh, this costs too much money for me right now, so I can't continue until I get about 3000 euros approximately for the new machine. Anyways, in the future I, I hope I can continue with this. Thanks for watching, uh, see you soon.